not a triple cantrip, but lightning flash, arcane wave, and mist form, which is really interesting. Indeed it is. Um, so this is double cantrips. This is obviously the more defensive option here. Um, so this build is actually, it's kind of not too surprising to me. This is something that I could kind of call coming. Um, or leather, I wouldn't call it too unorthodox. Uh, so rock solid is a pretty good, um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good trait that was uh, that was implemented rather recently, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and a lot of a lot of more defensive elementals start choosing to take that, and then from there it's just your usual traits. I think he is going to be running scepter dagger though, but the berserker's amulet is going to allow him to do a lot of damage as well. So I think we could see we might be seeing a pretty even spread of a uh, sort of damage to defensiveness. But the match is already getting started. Here. Keep my guys is a best of one, so the winner of this is instantly going to be moving on. There will be no second chances, and we're already going. And look at Ty. Ty, uh, Ty's alliance has already got their interesting strategy. Both uh, teams, actually. The, the beach fight. There was uh, a fire fight. Nope. And oh, they just <laughs> they're two ships in the night. Nope. Screw it. They're going to get their far points. This is going to be an interesting <laughs> setup for Let's go to the mine and see what sort of survey has to deal with um, in terms of what's going on with, uh, with TR over here. Uh, looks like he's just going to be chased down with extreme prejudice. He's on point. He's locked out. He's stunned. He's going to go down. Uh, he's down, actually. So, well, what's interesting to note is that the, uh, the, so, the so to, bunker... Or, sorry, go ahead. To interject here, no one went for mid at the start of the game. That's how strong side point meta is right now. Everyone completely ignored mid. Skyfall Tova was the, from uh, from TR was the only one to pick this up, and is now going on to mid. I think the thief from the red team as well is going to be coming on here. But that was actually extremely interesting to see. No one go mid at the start of that game. That was ridiculous. and just passing each other and beach. Anyway, I think Skyfall Tofu was the one who was actually at Henge at first. Yeah. Uh, and then realizing what was coming was like, nope! <laughs> and uh, went all the way to Keep to get that first team. Like that, I think someone team takes a someone either disengaged or died from Spawnier, because Spawnier is reset. Uh, let's go over to Miner. The main fight is you got Ivan and Zinn and uh, Annie Leonhardt from the blue team over here doing a lot of work keeping uh, uh, Cerebi and Jerry E kind of at bay here, but here's Vile to come up with the sort of support, and Nong Nok is being taken on by Skyfall Sofu. Let's go in with Zin here, who's on the point. Uh, she's got it. She entered that Shadow Refuge, but then rolled out and just started to, to lay waste the people. She's going to be using her Shatters to get a lot of stuff going on. Ivan with, that, with the uh, Shadow Stomp there in the Shadow Refuge, managing to take out uh, Nong Nok as well as a lot of other people here. We're going to see lots of knockbacks uh, from Ivan. Ivan, of course, is running a uh, very standard Scepter Shield here. This is going to help him use control of this point, no problem. And Red Team is going to be cleaned up by uh, Celestial being here, Ivan and team doing a lot of great work. Let's see what else is going on here. Looks like a rogue Sven opting to kind of stay away from that point, seeing where he can go. It looks like he's going to be headed actually to the beach. Or no, he's going to. You're oh, talking about the Guardian, the Red Team Guardian? Yeah, Red Team Guardian. No. I don't know. I don't know where it's going. Dude, TR, or Ty rather. Ty does not want to give up. They hate middle with a passion. This is, I Look, don't know, it's not, the, it's not the optimal strategy here, man. He's roll, He's running it anyway. He's like, he would, he would rather 4v1 than go for mid, which is open, I should add. Yeah, it's like... It's a little weird at this point. <laughs> I'm starting to question the judgment there. Uh, but nonetheless, he did go in here, and TR did a nice job of taking him down, so he is unfortunately going to get knocked out there. Um, so Rogue Spam went down, and at the same time Skyfall Tofu went down. Now the reason neither of them got rezzed off that stomp there was because of the fact uh, that they didn't deal any damage to each other for anyone questioning that mechanic or was to why, that, why both those stomps on either team went off. But the right. team fight still once again in full swing because Ty just really doesn't want mid. Like they're just going to let Blue have it even though no one is on it. This is... Honestly, I don't even know what to say. It's <laughs> I don't know what to say either. It's... it's. I mean, okay. So, so we're seeing Sarah v, She's... On she went and got Henge, which is great, but she can go get Keep. She just can, and like Red Team is just dying out here on the mine point. It's not it's not serving them to stay out here. They've actually they've got two deaths now. Someone just respawned. Sven just popped down his uh, um, his symbol of swiftness to get away a little bit, or just I guess reposition because Jerry's going back in and now he's going back in. I don't know. I, I want to know what's going on. I think like oh my god. Hey, they don't want mid. It, like, that's the only way I can say it. They just don't want mid at all. Look, they're like purposely avoiding it. The Guardian, it was open. 
Look at how low health Jerry is right now. And he's just he's coming <laughs> back, but he's had 600 health. Now he's at 7,000, which is great. But, oh, my God. You know what? Um, actually, mine got decapped for a second by Vile. But here comes Zin to re retake in. Vile's going to be sandwiched here between Ivan and Zin if he comes back up. He gets that. Oh, man. Vile uh, actually going down a little bit. He's going to try and get spawn here. Get spawn here. Now it's 152 to 51. It's worth noting, though, Blue Team doesn't have any Just points like right that. now. It's only Red Blue getting an income. Blue Team point. finally kicks back mine. And actually, Keep is going to go for Sven. They finally realize, oh, no one's on... No one's on keep. <laughs> Maybe these guys are, are used to playing 8v8s where they don't know how many numbers like are where, but it's really essential that you know, have that map awareness and have the numbers of what, how many are, how many of each team is where you are or where they are, or your teammates are on the map rather. Indeed. And now we do have this mid fight going in mid. Anne has already been forced into a Shadow Refuge, unfortunately. And we actually do have Red Team Steve doing a pretty nice. Actually, Red Team, I think this is. Uh, yep, Red Team Steve actually doing a pretty nice job at that. Still doing dealing to him in the down state. But the mid fight is in full swing now. We have the Guardian on. Or actually, I think that was the Warrior, actually, on the point, taking a pretty hefty amount of damage. Uh, so we do have the Red Team up right now um, in terms of capture points. And they do. Actually, don't cancel that. They do seem to be more on the losing end of this. So I think Blue Team might be taking this middle one back. I don't know what you think, Sire. But. Um. I, it's really too hard, too early to say here. It looks like it's a 3v3 here, but Ivan is down and Jerry can possibly get the stomp. No, it's going to be Sven going for the stomp because, uh, oh no, Ivan gets up uh, somehow. I guess that's uh, from a stomp going down. Annie is down. They're going to get res her easily, and it's going to be a 4v3 here. Nominok is going to go down, but he's going to get res if Annie can just get a shadow stomp here. No, the, uh, I think the illusional life went up on uh, Nominok there. He's going to go down again. This is not what I like to see for Nong Nong. No, actually, uh, wow, Lana. almost got stomped there. He gets up, and uh, the fight continues, man. So they got him up, and Rogue's fight actually did a pretty nice job of tanking the damage there, so he was able to keep himself alive as well. Um, so Let me just interject real fast. Red team is about to three cap. Uh, oh, Ryland man. Got mine. Blue team is totally obsessed with keep right now. They've wiped. They're actually down a man with a DC. Um, so. This is not looking good for the blue team. Red has actually managed to catch up, and they will be exceeding exponentially now that they have this three cap. But needless to say, it's a very close game so far. Um, up to this point, blue team was sort of controlling the controlling the cards in the map here now, but red team has completely flipped that around into a three cap in their advantage. Uh, keep in mind they have left their close point empty, but I think now we're gonna see so them adjust their assets possibly over to Henge. No, actually they won't. We're gonna see the ranger pull himself off this now. Um, and just, I guess, let them have that back. So, this is something that EU teams tend to do, or EU teams tend to do, where they don't really go for that third point. They just sort of passively take it if they can. And I actually, I think I'm about to eat my own words here now because they're all sending people to it. Um, they actually are going to come on here now, so they are going to go for that full three point defensive, which I don't usually agree with because of the fact that you're risking so much for something you don't really need, in my opinion. Absolutely. I don't know what you think. Um, I mean,. When, if they can put the aggression on and spawn it's contain a, and just end this game, it's worth it. It's a very risky play because if you lose it, you could lose everything. But I do think they made the correct gamble there because they do seem to be controlling it. I don't think Blue Team had the correct engagement procedures there in order to get that uh, get the hinge back for themselves. You know, you're absolutely right. We also saw um, Rogue Spen get the stomp off on Ivan. And that just, I mean, it was decapped for like a second and they got it back. So they really weren't in any worry there. And I've been popping that uh, shield of absorption, knocking everyone back. But he's going to be doing a 5v1 right now. Uh, looks like we're going to see some back capping action from Annie Leonhardt on the mine. And a keep is going to be a little contested momentarily by Zinn. The Zinn is being chased down by Vile Remix. And uh, this is going to be an interesting fight because Blue Team is entirely spread out. Red Team is not really. They're getting spawn here. They want to end the game. Uh, here comes, yep, and there it is. There's the end of the game, guys. Indeed. Red team is gonna take this one, so that's it, guys. Ty Alliance is gonna be moving on, and with that, TR, one of our ch one of our two Chinese teams, is out of the tournament. Congratulations to um, congratulations to Ty Alliance. They're gonna be moving on. They're still alive. Keep in mind, they still have a long way to go in the losers bracket. Um, and keep in mind, once again, these are all best of one, so they gotta keep winning if they want to keep themselves in this. Um, unfortunately for TR, they did play their best. It's a pretty nice place, but they are now out of this tournament. And we like, regardless, we like to thank them for their participation. So now I think we're gonna be doing another loser match bracket i need to double check on that but uh regardless i think we're gonna take another break to check in on that um, and yeah so obviously a good match there um we're gonna take a really quick break because i think we might be just keeping the maps rolling here as it is random rotation on the maps um but we just gotta get the new teams in here and i think we'll be right back so stick around